Okay, here we go. This is going to be a mini lecture on the topic of DNA, genes, and chromosomes. This is going to represent uh, it's kind of its, its own learning target and really its own unit um, that is going to ask you to explain the relationship between DNA, genes, and chromosomes. And the um, you will need to be able to demonstrate that you can identify them also from a drawing. So as you take your notes today, please focus on getting good drawings that are labeled with descriptions next to them of what each of these parts are. Um, sort of like the topic of the four macromolecules of life and the processes that life have to go through, this is going to be one of those topics that is sort of repetitive this trimester. Basically everything from this point on uh, in the trimester is going to revolve around the concept of DNA, genes, and chromosomes. These three things are going to be woven into every unit that we have the rest of the trimester. So it's pretty important that you understand this relationship now um, because this is kind of foundational information. So the last unit that we focused on dealt with the cell membrane. And in the cell membrane, we had a couple of the four macromolecules. We were looking at carbohydrate chains. We were looking at lipids forming the bilayer. We were looking at proteins that form channels. This topic focuses on primarily on one of the four macromolecules, nucleic acids. <clears throat> nucleic acids, um, more commonly known to you right now as DNA, although you'll learn about more of them as we go through the trimester. Um, are important for, or the understanding them is important for the rest of the units that we're going to be covering. So um, you'll, you'll want to get a good handle on this right now. So we're going to begin by talking about DNA. Most of you, I hope, recognize DNA in this diagram here. This is what the structure looks like. It's a double helix, kind of a twisted ladder shape with these rungs in between. And the rungs are made up of letters, and we'll study those letters in more detail later. For right now, you need to know this about DNA. You need to know that DNA is the molecule in the cell which stores information. Okay, so this is a DNA strand, and they're extremely long. Um, there on a section of DNA will be many individual pieces of information. So the whole DNA strand gets divided up into chunks or sections and each section contains one piece of information. You can think of it like um, you can think of the letters sort of like forming sentences and then the um, uh, one gene would be like or I'm sorry think of the individual letters like uh, forming words and then think of one entire gene as sort of being a sentence that tells the cell how to build kind of one thing. So on this section of DNA here, we see there's a gene right here and there's a gene right here. Um, so genes are defined this way. They're one section of the long DNA strand with the information for building one specific protein. And your DNA uh, has many genes. For a long time, we thought you might have over 100,000 or more because you have that many different kinds of proteins. Um, which is what the information is for building. Uh, but recently science has found that in the human body there's probably about 21,000 genes or individual statements along this strand of DNA that help your body understand uh, how to, to complete the, the functions it needs to complete. So this picture here we see our DNA again. Um, remember individual pieces of this DNA would be called a gene. And, but uh, this diagram focuses more on the idea of a chromosome. So what is a chromosome? A chromosome is the DNA that ends up getting coiled up. Now, it needs to be coiled up because, as I said before, it's very long. Um, one strand of DNA in just one of your cells, or, or the DNA in just one of your cells, would be several meters long if you stretched it out um, from end to end. Uh, which would come out to about 9 to 10 feet long. So how do you get this very long molecule into a nucleus in a cell, into this very tiny space? And the way that happens is the DNA gets formed into chromosomes. 
So here's kind of a definition of a chromosome. It's DNA that has been coiled around a histone protein. Now, um, the histone part isn't necessarily the part that's the most important, but I do want you to understand that here's another macromolecule, proteins, these little kind of blue dots here. And around those blue dots, the DNA molecule gets coiled up and packaged into these tight little wraps that ultimately form a shape. And often you'll see it, see it drawn as kind of this X-shaped um, thing that will be found in the nucleus. So here we have many chromosomes, many of these X-shaped things. And each one is a long piece of DNA that's been coiled around some histone proteins. The purpose of a chromosome, and this is another thing you need to understand, is to make the DNA itself smaller, um, to package it, and also to organize the DNA, the, the, well, specifically to organize the genes that are on the DNA into a specific region. And let me show you what that looks like. On a this is, these are actual chromosomes taken out of the nucleus of a person. And um, each one of these chromosomes, so you have two of each kind of chromosome, you got one from your mom and you got one from your dad, um, have these dark bands on them. And those dark bands are places where there's a high concentration of genes, of information. And then the lighter areas are pieces of DNA that don't code for, for anything, really. Um, and again, you don't need to understand that so much right now. Just understand that the, the genes on this chromosome have been organized. So here we see the DNA as it's packaged. Gene here, gene here, gene here, gene here. Actually, probably many genes in each of these spots. And here's a drawing of what it looks like. Um, here's the chromosome. Um, remember, coiled up DNA. And here's a gene with information. Here's another gene. Here's another gene. Here's another gene. That's what you need to know. DNA, genes, and chromosomes. You need to be able to draw it. You need to be able to label the parts. And then you need to be able to write a sentence or two about what each part means. And when it comes to the chromosome in particular, you need to know why they're made. So they're made to make it, meaning the DNA, into a smaller package and to organize the genes. Thank you.